Hello everyone, this is Abhinit Tasa, I'm the Senior Gender and Livelihoods Technical Advisor with the Gender Use and Livelihoods GUIL team. Today I'm here to introduce you to two of the major programs that the GUIL program provides technical and program management support to, and these are called Women's Empowerment Through Gender Transfer and Market Opportunities, or we go, and She Feeds the World. To start with the WIGO program, the WIGO program, we are implementing this program in Ethiopia. It's an 8.5 million investment from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And one unique thing about this program is we don't only uh, manage budget, but we provide granting grant to the Ministry of Agriculture. So a portion of the budget is goes to the Ministry of Agriculture and they are equal implementing partners in this process. Um, the overall purpose of this program uh, is really interesting. It's to provide a system strengthening support to the ministry to implement its gender equality strategy in the agriculture sector, um, which we believe would result in gains for small scale women producers. So basically, um, the goal of this program is increased women's empowerment in agriculture through gender transformative market investment. And we have two interrelated primary outcomes. The first one relates to system strengthening of selected units within the ministry and also to regional agricultural bureaus. And the second one relates to seeing the gains of strengths and systems um, through increased income for women farmers. We have identified horticulture as the main uh, uh, the main entry point um, for us to engage selected farmers um, on, and also we're going to promote diversification, livelihood diversification opportunities, including um, in livestock. So the whole idea is making sure that the ministry implements its gender equality strategy, but we're going to um, evaluate success of this program by going beyond whether or if the ministry implements a gender equality strategy or not, we believe if the ministry is supported and implements its gender equality strategy, the results should be reflected in gains for uh, women small scale producers. The second program is She Feeds the World, and uh, this program um, is funded by the PepsiCo uh, Foundation. It's an 8.2 million uh, investment. We have it um, in, in, in operational in five countries currently, in Uganda, Peru, Egypt, Thailand, and Vietnam. Uh, different investment amounts are attached to the different countries. 2 million in Uganda, uh, 3.5 million in, in uh, Peru, 3.7 in Egypt, uh, 1 million in Thailand and 1.1 million in, in Vietnam. And um, this, this she feeds the world, uh, the framework is supposed to contribute or help us contribute to the CARES Vision 2030 on right to food, water and nutrition impact uh, area goal for 75 million people, uh, focusing on women and girls, of course, to increase the fulfillment of their rights to food, water, nutrition, um, in, in a sustainable, productive, and equitable, and also nutrition sensitive and resilient food systems. We have um, the six interrelated change areas and she feeds the world. And as you can see, women's empowerment is at the heart of everything that we do. So women's empowerment to make sure that they have access to and control over productive resources and access to inclusive markets, good nutrition in the household in, in the community and provision of social protection support to those who are really in need and multiplying the impact of She Feeds the World through uh, different channels or different platforms, including advocacy, influencing, partnership and platforms, innovation and research and evidence and learning. I hope that gives you a little bit of overview on um, what we do into the, in, in, uh, through these two major programs. If you have any questions, please come to me anytime you want. Thank you.